Well, good morning, my peeps. We're gonna start off by knocking out these two yards that are right in front of from uh, from each other. We've got the one down there. And then we got this big monster yard, which is my biggest yard. You can see it's pretty. It's time for a definitely time for a cut. We've got to knock out the backyard as well. This is the yard where. I'm always worried about because they got a really mean boxer and, and it seems like every time I go out there he comes out running and he's gotten loose before it attack a couple of kids at one time. Very uh not a safe dog, but I think he was a rescue dog is what the customer was telling telling me. So I gotta be very careful. Definitely carry OC spray that way I could kind of ward him off if he does get near me actually he's came and uh, tried to attack me last season or a year and a half ago or something like that and uh, of course I had the OC spray with me sprayed it but that back draft came back and got me in my face so kind of got jacked up on that one it was it was pretty bad <laughs> I had to run over to the to the convenience store and wash my face with water soap because my eyes my face my mouth was all burned up because of the back spray so if you guys are ever going to get oc spray just you know whether you want to protect yourself from people or dogs i would recommend getting the gel get the gel don't get the spray or the cone because of course whenever it if you do get windy because here we, we usually get a breeze today is pretty pretty uh still we don't have we don't have a wind or anything like that so if i did have the uh the cone spray it would i think it'll be okay but i would recommend the gel so this comes out in a string no i'm sorry this isn't the gel this is the string so this comes out in a uh straight straight uh string so i would probably recommend this so we're gonna keep that in our pocket just because uh like i said i i never know so what i like to do is just to kind of let the customer know that i am here i'll kind of drive around with the mower on that way maybe they'll hear it they'll be okay I, we, uh lawn lawn person's here let's not let the dog out so that's what we'll probably do or actually i'll probably just mow this this little area first and then we'll go into the backyard we'll do the front yard and the other side later that way we can have the mower running and uh they'll notice that i'm here we'll sneak up in the back i'll take uh i'll, I'll go ahead and mow the backyard trim and blow that way i'm done with that and then i could concentrate on taking care of the rest of the property so i'm gonna go ahead and post up let's get to work
Okay, we did it real quick guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna take footage of just this little area right here We're not gonna I'm not gonna film the whole entire property because not only does it take Too long of a time to record my battery will go out, but my GoPro will probably Get too hot and it'll shut off shut off either way. So But we're just gonna go ahead and just film this little area. We're gonna clean it up. I'm gonna get some footage of us why do I say us? I always say us. Footage of me trimming, edging, cleaning up the uh, the grass that are growing through the cracks. And uh, hopefully by then, it'll be safe to go in the backyard and we'll be able to mow that. And I'll show you the aftermath on the backyard and the entire property once we get done. <clears throat> now it was super high. So I, I may have to go back and kind of do a, a cross cut. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and do a cross cut. I'm gonna show it on the film. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to edging and trimming. Um, so like there's some parts that, yeah. I'm gonna have to cross cut just because the terrain is a little bit wobbly there. But we're gonna make this property look pretty, pretty dang good. It's gonna be ready to, well, it's already on the market, but we're gonna make it looks so good that people when they pass by and they so and they see it they're gonna be like yep this is it forget the way the house looks i just like the way the lawn looks so maybe i'll get a little percentage out of it maybe we'll see let's get to work Okay, there you have it. Very uh, self-explanatory. As you can see, we just did a regular mow with the 32 Skag. Did an edging, did some, uh, did a lot of trimming down there by the AC unit. But this time we're gonna go ahead. I think it's safe to say, and it's safe just by observation that we can go ahead and start servicing or mowing the backyard but I am going to keep my OC spray with me. I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, head mount on my head that way in case if something does happen because there's been a few a lot of times where I've gone in the backyard where it looks like the coast is clear. Once I start mowing, dog just runs out of the backyard and that's whenever I have to put my foot down, if you know what I'm saying. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, gear up with the uh, head mount that way if anything crazy freaky happens you guys will see and uh not saying i want something bad to happen i, I really don't want nothing bad to happen because 
dogs love Mexican food and I, would, I don't want to be that you know that entree you know what I'm saying so let's go ahead and uh, let's suit up let's go because it's hot it's starting to get hot and it's still morning and I don't want to be here all day let's go man all right so here we go let's go ahead and uh, let's get our blower trimmer because we're going to roll over to the other side actually because I don't think my scat can fit through this you know what we're going to try it out let's try it I'm not sure if it'll fit but we're going to give it a shot but like I said usually I'll go to the other side of the gate and I'll in, uh, make entrance through there we may be able to no the only reason I don't want to go through there because I got stuck there one time and uh if you guys haven't seen the video i'll put a card up above and y'all guys can check that out oh wanted to utilize something on here which i don't know if do you guys even use this feature on your skag and you probably already know what it is but i want to try it all right let's see if skag actually designed this to where it'll keep the bottle in without it falling out so uh y'all guys let me know before we go any further two things let me know do you guys use y'all's cup holder on your mowers yes or no second do you think that bottle's gonna stay on there after we get done y'all guys let me know in the comment don't cheat don't fast forward we're gonna find out let's go
backyard I had to kind of go a little quick on this one like I mentioned that dog usually comes out I could be out there mowing and somehow the dog gets out and he's a mean one he's a dog so let's go ahead and uh, make sure we bungee this good because the other day this guy same dog he's a he's an escape artist all the gates were closed customer left out the uh garage right pulled out of the garage in his car and somehow dog managed to get out just before the garage gate closed and that's when he started kind of terrorizing us But all right, guys, let's, uh, I'll show you the aftermath. I'm going to go ahead and knock out the whole property without filming. And, uh, I'll be right back. All right, guys, we finally got it done. We got this one here and we got the one right across the street. I didn't take any video of the one across the street. I just wanted to hurry up and get that one done. And, uh, it's 1130. We're done with our route actually. So I'm going to go get me some lunch not too sure what i want to eat but i mean it looks pretty cool and check this out the bottle stayed on there so uh skag y'all guys did a pretty let me turn this off the bottle stayed on there so skag y'all did a really good job on a nice little cup holder there i never use it but you know what i'm gonna start using it all right here we go this is the uh, eating lunch with your boy Mark portion of the video so I stopped over at a little food truck in Mesquite and we got some barbecue barbecue sandwich check it out check it out check it out chopped beef barbecue sandwich well, this is from uh, no doubts barbecue so if you're in the mesquite area garland area go 
check it out. Check them out on, uh, because they post up, I think, in different places, but this time they were at a, get, at a uh, car wash um, deal. So, y'all guys go check that, check them out on Instagram. And I've eaten there a couple of times, and I have to say it's, it, it's really good barbecue, man. Now, I'm not a barbecue sauce person, man. I, I don't like barbecue sauce. I don't like them on my wings. I don't like them on whatever. But this barbecue sauce, I don't know what it is, but this barbecue sauce is on point. And I don't like barbecue sauce. Of course, I have it on the side because I don't want my bread to get all soggy and drenched. But let's just go to take a bite without the barbecue sauce and we'll pour some barbecue sauce and uh, y'all guys will get my reaction on that. Dang. Brisket's good. But this is the kicker. The barbecue sauce is the kicker. Bam. Mm. That's it. That's it. I was trying to find a place I could pull over with some shade. Found this little nice park here. Man, I just I thought I couldn't find a parking spot fast enough. For me to stop and enjoy this barbecue sandwich. Mm, mm, mm. What a way to end the work week with a really good barbecue sandwich. Sauce is on point. I don't know what it is about the sauce I've never tasted barbecue sauce like this but the barbecue sauce is what takes it to the top I don't know what it is but it's freaking good man just take a couple more bites mmm mmm mm. wonderful week wonderful week Nice, smoky flavored brisket. Oh my lord. Mm, mm, mm. Today was a good day. I didn't have to use my mace on the dog. The dog did get loose, not loose, but they let the dog out as soon as I started mowing the no, it actually, it came loose as, as soon as I started mowing the front part of the uh, the yard. But I was watching him. I was watching him. He didn't come out. He didn't escape. So it was definitely a good day.
point I hit the spot probably could have ate another one you know that mm -mm. that was great that was great thanks for having lunch with me guys mm. alright thank you for watching please subscribe please like hit that notification bell button guys thank you very much we'll see you on the next video peace